Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for joining my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Zulu Adeni and in today's video I want to discuss about a very important section of a research proposal. We started a series on research proposal and I've taken time to explain uh, what a research proposal means. It's an academic blueprint, it's a master plan of action uh, that shows what you want to do and how you want to do it. Uh, um, I took time also to explain what constitutes each of the sections of a research proposal. Um, I explained what a research um, uh, uh, ob objective, what a research question uh, entail. How do you develop uh, this such that it aligns with your research topic? I, I also explained how you conceptualize your topic, the characteristics of a research topic. Uh, please um, feel free to check some of my uh, videos that have uh, taken time to explain all of this. And remember uh, to subscribe to this channel and uh, follow me, uh, engage with me, ask me questions. Um, Within the context of research, my interest is to promote the culture of research among postgraduate students. So let's get to the real business of today's video. In today's video, I want to discuss about the research methodology section. Um, why is it so important? It is important because this is where everything boils down to. You have a method to execute a project. Think of it this way, that you want to prepare one of your best meal and you don't have a clear cut method of how to prepare it even if you continue to savor even if you continue to dream to you know your saliva is just dripping you know on the meal how sumptuous is going to be if you don't have the method to prepare the meal it is going to be a disaster the same thing with your research methodology section of your research proposal. You can have the best of topic, so to say, arguably speaking. You can have a properly well-articulated research objective. Again, you've shown that you know what you want to achieve. You can have your research question top-notch. Again, it's clearly demonstrate that you have a good understanding of the questions you want to address in your study. But this is where it really gets down to real business of it. How do you want to execute this project? What are the step-by-step -step procedures that you want to use in executing the project? And that is the role research methodology section plays in a research proposal. Why? Number one, because of the various sub-components that you will always find in the research methodology section. That is why it is so important in the research methodology section, for instance, number one, you're going to have your research method, be it qualitative, quantitative, or mixed method. Of course, it's not just as if you wake up and you say, oh, I want to do a qualitative study. Oh, I want to do a quantitative study. The choice of research method will be informed by your topic, by your objectives, by your research questions. So this is very important. So if your topic, for instance, is, you know, aligns to certain paradigm, then you want to take time to find out for this kind of paradigm, what is the most appropriate research method that goes with it? Ethnography, you want to find out. When I do ethnographic study, what is the most appropriate research method that goes to it? And this is, again, where it becomes really, really interesting. Because the choice of research method will determine the choice of data size, will determine the choice of data source, will determine the, the choice of data collection instrument, will determine the choice of data analysis instrument. So you cannot, for instance, pick a research method that is qualitative and all of a sudden you are saying, oh no, in this study, my data analysis tool will be the use of SPSS. Already that's a red flag. You don't want to come across as if you just have the fantastic or the best of ideas, but the plan of execution is nothing. No. Your research methodology section is one area where you pay careful and absolute attention to. Because at the end of the day, there are certain kind of data that you will collect that will help you to achieve your objectives. There are certain kind of data that you will collect that will help you to answer your research questions. There are certain analyses 
instrument, data analysis instrument that will help you to understand what your data is saying with respect to either answering a specific research question or achieving a specific research objective. So your research methodology section is one area where you have to pay careful attention to. You want to start from your topic to say, when you look at your topic, what kind of study goes side by side this topic? Is it quantitative? Is it qualitative? What kind of paradigm goes with this kind of topic? For instance, if you are interested in doing a qualitative study, you know, for example, that qualitative is subjective. The researcher has a direct interaction with the respondent or the participant. It goes beyond just collecting the data. You are also looking at the emotion. You are looking at, you know, some experiences in terms of your encounter with the respondent. So these are all the things you have to pull together when you're thinking of your research methodology section. It is not just a section you just flip over left, right, center. No, you must think about it carefully because it is the master plan. That is the stage where you show clearly this is how I want to execute this project. This is how I want to conduct this study in terms of the step-by-step -step procedure of how I gather my data, of how I analyze my data, of the kind of data that I'll be looking at. All of this play out with respect to your research methodology. So again, you want to look at books that have been written on research methodology so that you ground yourself in the principles that are associated with the different subsections of research methodology. It is very important that you expose yourself to what the scholarly resources are saying so that you end up making an informed decision with respect to the most appropriate research method that goes with your study. And you know for sure that when you choose the research method, it automatically has a direct relationship with your data, the type of data you will collect, the size of data you will target, the kind of analysis you're going to conduct. So all of these come together under your research methodology section. Again, quick recap, your research methodology section is the step-by-step -step procedure of how you want to execute the project. In other words, your study. How do you go about that? You must know, number one, what your study is all about from your topic. You must know what is the most appropriate research method that goes with this kind of study. And you do all of this, not from your head, not from what your friend is doing, but from scholarly resources to guide you in making an informed decision. I hope I've managed to uh, bring your awareness to something very important as you're developing your research methodology. Uh, please feel free to ask me questions, um, uh, make comments, uh, let me know what your take is on, on what I have just explained now. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my uh, Twitter handle where I tweet uh, on research related content. Again, my intention, my purpose is to build and promote the culture of research among postgraduate students to help you appreciate that research can be fun, it can be noble, it can be pleasured, but it comes with a lot of hard work and working smart. Thank you so very much uh, for listening and watching this video. I hope to see you in other subsequent video where I will be bringing you some research related content for your ease of understanding of research. Thank you so much and see you soon.